Body condition scoring is an important farm management tool. Body condition helps monitor a cow's energy reserves and aids management decisions through the lactation. This short film has been created for farmers and farm staff wanting to implement a scoring regime. It should contain everything you need to know to ensure that you can score confidently with consistency and accuracy. There's a section on the practicalities of scoring, which body parts to score and how to score. This technique is a practical means of assessing body fat reserves and is useful to fine-tune dairy herd nutrition and health. Scoring is a simple but effective management tool. The scorer needs to be consistent and confident in their assessment and ideally it should be the same person each time to maintain accuracy in scores. The change is more important than the score allocated on the day and so routine scoring is key. A good routine includes scoring your cows at calving, 60 days post-calving, 100 days before drying off and at drying off. All cows will lose condition after calving, but the aim is for cows to lose no more than half a unit of body condition scored between calving and 60 days post-calving. One unit of BCS equates to 10% of body weight. BCS targets are available for different stages throughout the lactation. These targets allow herd managers to take action on cows which are not at target BCS for crucial stages in lactation. There's been considerable research that supports these targets and demonstrates that calving cows at the right body condition results in improved production and reproductive performance. Cows that lose less than half a unit of body condition score during the first five weeks post-calving ovulate 15 days sooner and reach first service 14 days sooner than cows that lose a full unit of condition. Please note that these targets are for Holstein breeds. Targets will be different for other dairy breeds of Jersey, Guernsey and Ayrshire's with even higher targets for Frisian and Montbelliard breeds who carry more condition. Contact your breed society for BCS targets for your specific breed. Remember, it's the change in score that is the most important and not the absolute value. BCS, using the Penn State method as we are here, runs from 1 to 5. As a general rule of thumb, cows with BCS less than or equal to 1.75 are considered too thin. It's important to identify these cows early and determine the cause. Thin cows are susceptible to metabolic diseases, infections and are more likely to have reduced fertility. If more than 15% of your herd is too thin, consult a nutritionist and or a vet for advice. Cows that are too fat, with a BCS greater than or equal to 4, are prone to difficult calvings and metabolic diseases such as fatty liver and displaced abomasum, all of which have negative knock-on effects on fertility. Discuss with your vet and or nutritionist how to best manage cows that are too fat. Remember, it's the change in score that is the most important and not the absolute value. First, let's look at the body parts of the cow that are evaluated during BCS. Cows should be scored by looking at the pelvis, rump and backbone areas. This film will focus on the visual assessment of cows using several body parts. The body parts are the hook bones. We'll be looking at the definition in shape of the hook bones, in other words, how covered in fat or how pointed they are. This is the pin bone, which has three clearly defined points. The thinner the cow is, the sharper the appearance of the pin bone, and the fatter she is, the more rounded the pin bone will appear. The sacral ligaments are found each side of the spine and connect the spine with the hook bones and again can be sharply defined or covered in fat. The pelvis, specifically, will look at the angle between the hook and pin bones. The tail head can be sunken and hollow or can be full of fat. The tail head ligaments are found both sides of the tail head and connect the tail head to the pin bones. 
these ligaments can be sharply defined or covered in fat. Finally, we want to assess the appearance of the short ribs to see how well covered or how sharp they are at the ends. Ideally, you want to see the entire cow when scoring, so choose a time and a place when you can observe the cow. Ideal locations for this include when the cows are lined up for feeding or in the loafing area when a scorer can walk past and quietly observe. It's good practice to score the cow from the cow's right side. The reason for this is that her rumen is situated on the left side and if full can make her appear fatter. BCS, using the Penn State method as we are here, runs from 1 to 5, 1 being very under condition and 5 very over condition. Often a cow doesn't always fall on an exact score but somewhere between two scores. To allow for this, this scoring system works on a quarter point scale. Cows should be observed in a number of steps and remember to always score on the cow's right side. The most useful starting point is to decide if the cow is less than or equal to a BCS3 or greater than a BCS3. Steps 1 and 2 will help you in making this decision. Step 1 is to assess the angle between the hook and pin bones. From a side view, you should see a V or a U angle. Prominent bones creating a V angle indicates a BCS score less than or equal to 3. A more rounded U angle suggests a score greater than 3. This angle is not always obviously defined, so proceed to step 2. Start by standing at the rear of the cow and observe whether the hook bones are angular or rounded. Angular hooks are a BCS of 2.75 or less and rounded hooks are BCS3 or above. A cow with a V angle between the hook and pin bones and rounded hooks will be a BCS3. A cow with BCS 2.75 or less will have a V angle between the hook and pin bones and angular hooks. Once you've decided that a cow is BCS 2.75 or less, Continue through these next steps to help you determine her exact score. We'll come back to cows with BCS above 3 a bit later on. Step 3. Observing the fat cover on the pins allows further assessment of BCS 2.75 or less. If there's padding on the pins, score the cow at BCS 2.75. When defining a score of 2.5 or less, the assessor must feel for the palpable fat on the pins. Where there is a fat pad present, the score remains at 2.5, but if no fat pad is evident, then the score will be 2.25 or less. Step 5 evaluates the visibility of the short ribs by looking at how bony the ridges of the ribs are. We want to identify the end of the short ribs and see how visible the ribs are between the end of the ribs and the spine. If the ribs are visible halfway to the spine, then she's a BCS 2.25. If visible three quarters of the way to the spine, then she'll be a BCS 2. Step 6. Cows which score less than 2 are severely underconditioned and will have a sore tooth spine and ribs will be clearly visible. Now that we've gone through the process of scoring a cow with BCS 3 or less, we need to go back to step 1 to go through the steps of scoring a cow with a BCS greater than 3. Going back to step 1, just to remind you, a cow with a V angle between the hook and pin bones and rounded hooks will be a BCS3. A more rounded U angle between the hook and pin bones suggests a score greater than 3. Once you've decided that a cow is greater than a BCS3, continue through these next steps to help you determine her exact score. Step 2. Evaluate the fat covering on the tail head and sacral ligaments. The fat covering around the tail head and sacral ligaments is crucial to scoring cows higher than BCS3. 
If both tail head and sacral ligaments can be easily seen from the rear view, the score will be 3.25. Step 3. When the sacral ligament is visible, but the tail head ligament is partly covered in fat, then the cow will score BCS 3.5. Step 4. When determining a score of 3.75 and over, the tail head will be completely fat covered. If neither the sacral or tail head ligament is seen easily, then the score is 3.75. If neither ligament are visible at all, then she's a score 4 or above. A score 5 cow will have the tail head, hook, and pin bones buried in fat tissues. Fat deposits will be easily seen on the rump and legs. Recording body condition of each cow at key points throughout the lactation is an important aspect of management. Use this data to monitor changes and to assist with making informed decisions to management practices for the herd, such as changes to feed rations of milking and dry cows, or to the feeding management routine. Having cows in the correct body condition is essential to achieving the level of performance expected of a modern dairy cow. Body condition scoring can be a useful management tool to manage the nutrition of the herd. In turn, this improvement in nutritional status can help improve the herd's health, milk production, reproduction and therefore profitability.